to the philosophy of animal rights then? Is it rational, impartial, scientifically informed? Does it stand for peace and against injustice? To these, all these questions, the answer is an unqualified yes. I'm sat here again re-watching the debate from 89, with each single watch I learn more every time. The motion was do animals need a bit of rights, with speakers for and against, three on either side. Reagan, Ryder and Lindsay versus Warnock, Rose and Greer. Philosophy, rights and morals versus fallacies, jibes and sneers. Tom starts us off, and this speech is one you should all hear, so eloquently spoken, still just as true despite the years. The opposition pay no attention though, all choosing to deflect to legal rights or straw man fights or simply just project. Warnock offers nothing, and Greer should be ashamed. Stephen Rose is better, but refutes nothing all the same. It could have been all versus Reagan in truth, and he'd still have come out on top, because nobody all night debunked the truth bombs he dropped. Using rationale and logic, nobody had a justified response. Now some 34 years later, and it's still the same nonchalance. Still the same denial, the same excuses and same blank stares. Still the same single issue campaigns, still the same cries of welfare. Still the same ignorance enabling those who are now trillionaires to exploit trillions more in their various ways every year. How much longer can we continue to ignore the wise, but pay attention to the popular, i.e. marketing in disguise? What will it take for you to see the wood for the trees and stop focusing on the symptoms and tackle the disease? I have not heard a single member of the opposition challenge a single argument.